it's our first full day on the trail after leaving Cuba uh, because we didn't leave Cuba yesterday until about 11 o'clock so so we had a late start but we managed to clock up a few miles I think we ended up doing 14 or 15 by the time we got to camp last night and uh, just before we got to camp we came across a beautiful herd of elk uh, they were just in the basically on the mountain no 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 further than probably maybe 100 meters 200 meters and uh, that was pretty amazing to see there was at least 20 of them and then this morning uh, myself and Freewheel came across another bear at about uh, I don't know maybe four or five hundred meters away from us so that was pretty pretty amazing to see again he was so brown but uh, the plan is now to get into um, Chama next it's currently about 120 miles maybe a little bit more so we're hoping hoping maybe maybe six days six days can get us there so we're going to try and knock out about 20 today, maybe 25. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if we can get to 25, it'll set us up nicely. But the pack is pretty heavy at the minute because I have, uh, I have prob probably have seven days worth of food. So, but we'll see. The forest has been beautiful. The walk from yesterday to now has been absolutely sensational. It's nice and cool, uh, nice and green, and there's loads of water around as well. And there's a heap of cows. <laughs> Is that all organic, boy? No. <laughs> Natural and artificial flavors <laughs> combined. <laughs> I've literally just walked around a corner. Up until the corner, there was no flies. And then as soon as I step around the corner, I've got all these brown and yellow flies biting me. Jeez, it just changes so quickly. Aye. We'll be climbing over them at some point in the next couple of hours. So they're the same mountains that we've seen coming down the mountain this morning. So we're down at about 7,300 7, now. So we've, we've come down over, over 3,000 feet. So, but we do climb back up again. I think we climb back up to about eight and a half tonight. So hopefully we get some crack of views up there. It does look nice. But we finally caught a little bit of rain earlier. It was nice to get a little bit of a heavy shower <laughs> falling on you. So it happened as soon as we started packing up where we uh, where we stopped for lunch. So, but it's been a beautiful day. It's uh, certainly a lot hotter down here. And I'll be looking forward to getting back up to the mountains again tonight. Go on, son. <laughs> You're almost there. <laughs> Don't lie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, la bouche. <laughs> Pretty tired, eh? We've just filled up at the last water source before we 
or build their house tonight. The boys are just up ahead scouting out a, a camping spot, so the, the locals weren't too happy. We took up their, their drinking source, but we've done about 20 miles today by the time we get to camp. So that's not too bad, considering the heavy packs that we're carrying. So it was a good day. It was, uh, it was a tough a tough climb back up out of the, out of the valley uh, earlier, so I'll be glad to get to camp now tonight and rest and drink some whiskey. Right, let's see up ahead. <laughs> we just got going and it's absolutely freezing in the shade. So I left camp and the sun was still shining down and I've jumped over to the other side now and the sun hasn't come up over the mountain on my right hand side and it is absolutely freezing. So the plan is to do 22 miles today to get to a highway and apparently there might be a little bit of trail magic there as well. We've seen some comments on gut hooks stating that someone had sodas a few weeks ago. So <laughs> you never know. So we're heading down to the river now. We're gonna chill it down here for probably a couple of hours. And then we've got roughly another 2,000 foot climb. We've just come down roughly 2,000 feet. So, so it's gonna be an interesting end to the day. There's no better place. They swig down some Bushmills whiskey, which is warm and out of a plastic bottle. But look at this. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, I got some of that tape. Another evening climb. But this one's a little bit more exposed. So it's about 1200, 1200 feet all up. I think I've done about four. So I've quite a ways to go. I've got to get the whole way up to there. So it's been a bit of a struggle so far. And it's a lot hotter than it was yesterday. Just reaching, reaching probably halfway. I'm going to keep going until, until I take the sting out of it. It starts to, it starts to sort of level off at about a mile, and I might get a, a good opportunity to sit down, have a snack, but still got a good bit to go. I made it to the top and what a climb that was but what a day what a day ever since leaving leaving camp this morning it was nice and crisp and it was a beautiful I think it was roughly 2,000 foot uh, descent right into the the flat plains below I think we got down to about six and a half seven thousand feet and walking through them canyons them walls 
red, yellow, brown, white, silver, green, all different layers. I've never seen anything like it. We're staring at millions and millions of years of sediment somewhere falling from somewhere. I'm trying to sound professional here. Don't have a clue what I'm talking about, but I definitely know it's sediment. But what a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm just gonna get out here to the edge now and try and find somebody to sit down and drink some water because I basically did not stop the whole way up that climb because I wanted to get up here and see what the views were like. And I'm definitely in for a surprise. I can see it from here already. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Did not stop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Swig of whiskey for the road, just. <laughs> what a view. What an incredible view that was. That was one of the best that I've seen on any trail. It was because so much was going on and you could see the whole way back to where we came the night before or even the night before that up to ten and a half thousand feet so we could see the mountain we came down this morning and then into the valley and then down into the desert and then down to the river and then back up again but just absolutely incredible like we climbed the whole way from the river up my knee hurt, my left, left knee hurts, my right knee hurts, my shin hurts, my left hip hurts. <laughs> but when you get to the top and you see that, it all disappears. So the plan is now to hike 11 miles to the next water. It's five o'clock. It's going to be a little bit of a push, but we're going to be following this. Well, this ridge line for quite a bit until it swings around to the east. And I think we follow it again, but we can still see the whole way down to the valley, which is pretty, pretty amazing. But yeah, a big push, two and a half liters to take me 11. 11 odd miles. I have to get there tonight. Unbelievable. So we're going to swing. We're going to swing around this now. We, this one. We're going to swing around that. And then we'll be facing east. But my god. Beautiful. Sorry. an epic day we're actually heading over towards the end of this ridge line now and then we're going to track back and we're going to hit a road and then it's about three miles end down to the highway so i can just see the highway in the distance but we're taking the uh, we're taking the long route down so our plan is we might be having dinner up here before we drop down into the valley so at least we'll cop the last of the last of today's sun so one of the best days on trail so far absolutely breathtaking what a way to bring an end to one of the most beautiful days that i've had hiking for a very very long time absolutely stunning the views were incredible like well, look where i'm standing look where i'm standing right now watching the sunset it's it's absolutely incredible and we've got to dip down to the uh, the highway below, but we're going more towards the north and then coming back down. As the crow flies, the highway's probably only a mile away. So it's such a spectacular day. Just the colors have been amazing. 
everything since this morning waking up. It was a crisp, beautiful morning. Nice and chilly, good for hiking. Then we dipped down about 2,000 feet into the valley. And then it was just that these, these white, yellow, orange, silver, black, brown, green, you name it. All these layers in the rocks, everywhere, everywhere we could see. I wish I could describe what I'm seeing, but I know it's different layers of sediment. But, but what a day, what a beautiful day.